What's going on, Survivor? My name is Harrison Potvin, and here's my audition tape for why I think I should be on the next season of your show. I'm going to try to keep it straight to the point so I don't bore anyone watching this, and my background may not be that exciting, but I tried to pick the quietest place in my house. Uh, I am 22 years old, and I am from the town of Brooklyn, Ontario, which is about a half an hour away from Toronto. I'm the oldest sibling of four. I've got a younger brother, a younger sister, and our dog, Miga, who we consider one of the siblings. I'm a dad to a very stubborn kitten named Waldo, and I am part of a very large family. We're on one side, on my mom's side we have seven cousins, and on my dad's side we have 15. I grew up watching the show of Survivor with my family, and my mom and grandma are such big fans that my grandma actually had a pet tree frog that she named after one of the contestants, uh, Ozzy. I'm studying biological sciences at the University of Guelph, and I'm going to my fifth year of study. Um, coming into university, I originally was in animal bio, but realized I didn't really want to pursue a career in veterinary studies and instead wanted to pursue a career in teaching, which is why I switched. I consider myself an extroverted introvert. While I absolutely love being by myself, you know, doing my own thing, I also love a good time and honestly can never say no to a hangout with my friends or an opportunity to really embarrass myself on the dance floor in front of a crowd I don't even know. Okay. All right. Oh shit. So why would I be good for the show? Firstly, I have an athletic background that I'm sure would be useful to this game. Growing up, I partook in all different kinds of sports such as baseball, soccer, rugby, and swimming. Additionally, I was the captain of the varsity swim team at my university. That's me in the middle jumping like an idiot. Secondly, I've been an outdoor guy pretty much my whole life. When I was younger, I used to keep to myself and would go into the forest looking for bugs and animals, and I've always loved to travel with my family, whether it be, you know, in different countries or in my own country of Canada. <laughs> in fact, I was actually supposed to be in Costa Rica right now, uh, volunteering at a wildlife sanctuary, but obviously, you know, the pandemic had other plans for me. Thirdly, I have a history of work experience that I think would prove beneficial for this game. I have a history in working experience, um, building pools and doing landscaping. I've worked as a chef on a food truck in downtown Toronto, and I've had a lot of experience working at summer camps, whether it's overnight camp on an island or zoo camp at the Toronto Zoo. <laughs> I've also been involved in my community for as long as I can remember. In high school, I was an executive for our leadership camp. I volunteered at a house for the homeless and the struggling in Guelph. And I was a volunteer for the university uh, for the student support network, where we listen to varsity athletes that may be going through rough periods in university. Finally, I have good experience with mental health. U Sports Canada wrote an article about my struggles and journey for Bell Let's Talk, and I was also involved in the first ever men's only mental health panel at my university. I'm not perfect. I am nowhere near it, and that's okay. I'm alive and still kicking, and that's more than I could ever ask for. It's okay to not be okay, and opening, about, opening up about how you feel will never make you any less of a man. Thank you. Right now, I'm running my own YouTube channel where I'm trying to normalize the conversation of mental health by interviewing people of all different backgrounds who have had their own experiences, whether they're well-known people or not. That was a lot, so to sum it all up for anybody still watching, uh, I think I would be a great addition to the next season of Survivor. The sports I've been a part of growing up have not only taught me uh, both the teamwork side and the individual side of hard work and perseverance, but they have also taught me discipline, leadership, how to work hard, and how to work my way through any adversity that I'm faced with. My love for the outdoors and for nature uh, sets me up great for any environment that we're placed in for the season, and sets me up great for any challenges that we would face in the wild. My experience with mental health and personal recovery helps give me an edge on the competition in the sense of self-awareness and mental strength. And my previous work experience has not only taught me how to work hard for results and punctuality, but it has also taught me how to be social, how to be a leader or a partner, and how to work as a team to aim for a common goal. These are all skills that I believe are essential for the game of Survivor and are the main reasons why I think I should be selected for the next season. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to hear from you guys soon.